Get out of the corner, come on, man. Is the game about to be over? The game's about to be over because people are camping. This is advanced warfare. It's supposed to be fast-paced action call of booty. What is going on, YouTube? Fox Group, welcome to you with a brand new video. And in today's video, we're going to be playing Advanced Warfare in 2020. So I hope you guys do enjoy. I've been getting a lot of comments about Advanced Warfare, so I figured I would do this one. Comment down below which Call of Duty you guys want me to do next. And yeah, I'll do it in like one of the next videos. I mean, we've just been doing all of them lately. You know, there's uh, there's still a handful left that we haven't done. So if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications. And without further ado, let's go, bros. We've lost control. We have me in the game now, so you don't got to worry about control. I'll take control. We have someone sitting in a corner right here, and my shot is just completely off. I got him. It's all good. I got him. So, Advanced Warfare. Well, this is another Call of Duty game that I did not play in its prime, and I'm not really tripping about not playing it in its prime. Not a jetpacker. I, I've said this a lot before, but I'm not a jetpacker. Personally, I'm glad I'm not a jetpacker. Ah. I've been told before that Advanced Warfare Competitive was really, really awesome. And I've watched some games. Oh my god, this game makes me so sick. As far as, like, nauseous goes. Nausea gives me nausea. Oh wow, okay. We're gonna throw up this UAV. Yeah, there's another guy. Hi, how are you? Advanced Warfare came out in 2014, and this game is regarded as like one of the worst Call of Duties. <laughs> a lot of people like Advanced Warfare. I just don't because I'm not a huge fan of jetpacks, and I think that Black Ops 3 and Infinite Warfare did it much better. I think that the wall running and things like that were a lot smoother as far as keeping it Call of Duty, but at the same time trying to bring a jetpack aspect into it. Now, I wouldn't say that Infinite Warfare and Black Ops 3 are essentially Call of Duty because they're not, but they're closer than this is in my opinion. And I really don't think that this game is Call of Duty. It's not what Call of Duty should be. Use code FOXY for 30% off all G Fuel products and the brand new G Fuel Condit Shaker. It's fabulous. A and it helps me out as a content creator. Okay, bye. All right, we're playing on Atlas Gorge. And uh, I think this is Pipeline. Yeah, this is Pipeline from uh, Modern Warfare or Call of Duty 4. Modern Warfare Remastered. You know the deal. I don't have any like attachments on this uh, MP5 or K5 or whatever the hell it's called. Oh, shit. Okay, well, and all my teammates are sitting in the back of the spawn. That's awesome. Hell yeah. That's what I love to see. Wow, I suck. Boo, you stink! I think one of my biggest gripes about this game, besides the jetpacks and supply drops, is the fact that a lot of the guns in this game sound exactly the same, but slightly tweaked. And I know that's such a little thing to gripe about or to you know whine about but but in my opinion that's one of the many things that gives a game life the sounds of a game really give a game life in my opinion and not just the gameplay but like holy shit what the fuck okay yeah i suck i've never used the hbr so <laughs> got me some slack the game has to have some type of immersion in my opinion and this game really didn't have that for me. I mean, it's a jetpack game. It's futuristic and things like that. And you can make an immersive game with jetpacks, I, I, I think. I don't really know. So back to my main point, the gun sounds in this game are atrocious. They're the same for almost every single gun, except, you know, maybe a couple. And even then, they're still pretty bad. And me being a sound engineer and an audio engineer and going to school for this kind of stuff, it just kind of seems lazy that they decided to make everything kind of sound the same. It's a futuristic game, so I wouldn't expect every single thing to sound exactly the same, you know? You would expect something a little bit different. You see how that kind of just sounds the same? Sounds like some of them are muffled, some of them have a higher pitch to them. It's just weird. And as someone who really cares about sound design, that just turns me off. But I gotta give some props to Advanced Warfare where it's due, because there are some aspects of this game that are pretty freaking sweet. I should not have done that, that was dumb. So some of the maps in this game have a changing environment where, you know, there's some portions that get, uh, like, get like flooded or the map changes a certain way. 
I wouldn't say exactly like Ghost, but it's um it's a little similar because like in Ghost, if you got a chem strike, then all of a sudden the map changed. But like you don't gotta get a DNA bomb in order for the map to change. At least I don't think so. Oh, that's a guy over there. He's just laying up there. I thought that was a dead body. Oh god. I can't I can't I can't I can't see. Holy crap. Screen shaking's bad in this game too. Ooh. Go, got a UAV. Why do they all have shields and stuff? There we go, got a system hack. There we go. There we go. Got a bombing run. Uh, I guess we'll just throw that like right this way. Cool, sweet, yay! <laughs> not playing half bad. I don't have much ammo left, but you know, is this an STG. It is with a not with a fucking red dot sight or whatever this sight is. Killing frenzy. Double kill. Yeah, there's another one. Ah, it's all good. Now, Advanced Warfare was the first call of booty with supply drops, and uh, boy oh boy, did that start a chain of events that Activision never wanted to let go. What? I didn't even get a hit marker on this guy. Oh, this is a royalty sten. Maybe we can use this. Okay, we got an assist. I kind of like this remake. It's a pretty decent remake. It's not bad. There you go, there's one guy. Another guy. Need a UAV to know where they are. Okay, here we go. I'm pretty sure the Sten is a DLC gun in this game or a supply drop gun, whatever you want to call it. Like, it doesn't matter. It's still a pay to win type thing. Even though in Advanced Warfare, you could do challenges to unlock supply drops. And that was pretty cool. It's just, it was like a daily challenge for a daily supply drop or whatever. But I still don't like supply drops. I think supply drops are, they're dumb. They're stupid. It's like it's a ghost town. Ha, get it? Because this is a Call of Duty 4 remake. <laughs> I like my puns. Oh, there's another one. Another thing that this game did pretty, I mean, like, I, I would say it did it right, is the fact that Team Deathmatch goes up to 100 kills in this game. I think that's really awesome. I feel like that kind of needs to be a staple now in Call of Duty. I feel like it shouldn't be 75 anymore. And don't get me wrong, I don't mind that it's 75. I like that traditional Call of Duty feeling since I, you know, grew up on the old school Call of Duties and things like that. But I think that 100 is just the way to go because it just allows people to play the game more and just get more kills and things like that. Higher chance of dropping a nuke, even though if you drop a nuke with 75, kills it i feel like that takes a little bit more skill because you got to get a majority of the kills kobe kobe oh no dude i what's melee in this game <laughs> this thing is insane it's just got like an insane fire rate i feel like if you went up to like a bunch of people in like a crowd they would and you just shot it, it everyone would die uh, maybe not. It's like a three-shot kill, it looks like. This thing has a really weird sound effect, too. I don't know. It, it sounds like an LMG more so than a shotgun, in my opinion. At first glance, this gun kind of looks like the UMP. Really? Sitting in a fu- Oh my god, bro. But then when you look at the iron sights, it looks nothing like the UMP. <laughs> Alright, we got the ASM-1 now. And, uh... That's one guy. Here we go. So, I don't have any variants in this game, but that's one thing that Advanced Warfare did in this game. They brought in variants, and personally, I don't really, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of variants. Like I said in the Infinite Warfare video, I think that variants give noobs an easier way to kill people. It just gives them uh, an advantage that they shouldn't have. I always feel like you should always get better with your gun skill, and you shouldn't have to rely on a variant to do well. Um, that's just me. The thing about it is, if they provide the variant for us, then I mean I'm gonna use it probably but at the same time I still think that variants shouldn't be a thing even though they are cool to collect and things like that it's also just another way for people to get supply drops and for them to market the supply drops which I don't like at all so this game's making me nauseous here we go Let's see here there's probably gonna be people up here Kill. Two piece. You know, as much as I don't like the jetpack games, I do have to say that there is a little bit of skill involved in like the movement of these games. You never really know what your opponent's gonna do, or like you never know where someone's gonna jump to. And like obviously, if you play the game a bunch, you'll realize like what people are gonna do and stuff. But I just I still think that there's some type of skill involved with it. Is he sitting in that corner? 
Dog, we got people on jetpack games sitting in corners. Why?